guys, it's Megan. Happy weekend. It is Friday afternoon and I am just about to wrap up the work day. It was a less crazy week. Thank God, knock on wood. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was still crazy, but I feel less stressed than I have in the past few weeks. So, I'm very, very thankful about that. And I've been in a very, like, minimal, no makeup, makeup mood this week. Like, I just have been really enjoying the simple life, I guess. <laughs> And um, I haven't really been wearing eyeshadow, like I've been curling my lashes, but that's been pretty much it. And then just like evening out my skin tone with like more like lightweight products. And then sometimes doing blush, sometimes like not really even doing blush and thinking of blush. Oh my god, I am going to do a video on this because I'm pretty upset, but Chanel reformulated their blushes and this devastates me because rose bronze is one of my favorite makeup products in the whole world and that is a blush color and i've almost finished mine and when i finish it i was going to repurchase it and it will take me a few more months to finish it up and i'm wearing it today that's why i thought of it but i saw um Michelle, Michelle Wang, I think is her channel. She did a video that like really made me nervous about like the reformulated version not being like nearly as nice, which is just like, ugh, it just drives me crazy that makeup companies do this. Like no one asked you to change the blush formula. Like it's an amazing, amazing formula like I don't know what they're doing but I ordered a like new one of the original version and I ordered <laughs> the new formula of rose bronze like both in rose bronze so I can do like when I ordered it I was like for science because <laughs> I want to know I want to help other people that didn't hear about this like if you have a favorite Chanel blush and you love it just the way it is, like, consider getting a backup if you're close to finishing it. Like, it took me years and years and years and years to finish, or it's not even done, but like to hit pan on rose bronze. So if you just got it, like, don't get a backup. But like, I'm almost done and I was going to repurchase anyhow, so... Yeah, I don't know why companies have to do this to us. It is, it's like, do you have nothing better to do than to like ruin people's lives? <laughs> like, it's so dramatic and stupid, but like, why reformulate something that no one had issues with? Like, it's just crazy. Like, it really reminds me of the Burberry eyeshadows. Like, they used to be talked about everywhere. Now no one talks about Burberry. Like once they reformulated it was like Bow! and they became really irrelevant for their beauty products so it's just like shocking that i guess they don't think about it being like a negative reaction from consumers but when people love your product so much like they don't want you to change it you know so um whenever those come in I'm gonna do a video like right away so anyhow I digress but um tonight I'm super excited because me and one of my best friends Caitlin are going to a like socially distant bar which <laughs> sounds really weird and it's gonna sound even weirder, but um, this bar that I used to go to like more often when I would commute to work, um, they have this like igloo that they put outside of the location. And so you can rent the igloo and it's like just you and your like party. Um, so it's just me and Caitlin. And um, so you're like completely away from anyone else and we just thought that would be such a like 2021 thing to do. So um, I'm excited about that and to see her. I'm just really excited for this weekend. And of course I will bring you guys along. And if you love vlogs, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe since I post one every single Saturday. I'm going to pick up Caitlin for our little adventure and I'm wearing my 
mom's red coat that's now mine and I love this plaid scarf and it like perfectly goes with the red of the coat I love it and I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman over the knee 50 50 boots oh my gosh these are the best and since it's pretty cold I feel like that will help like add a second layer on my legs so I'm just so excited but I need to go because I'm kind of running late <laughs> oh my god look at this this is amazing. Oh, it's like zippered up. <laughs> this is official. Caitlin, <laughs> after you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the Thunderdome. Yes, this is so exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> We scan these to read the menu. Oh my god, this is sick! Oh my gosh, we're in the igloo. We have our drinks. We're vibing. <laughs> and we just got arancini and a giant Bavarian pretzel that is like the size of our heads combined. Like, that is so amazing. I can't wait. I'm back from the igloo. Skincare done. In bed. Ready for a fun night. Of reading Harry Potter. I am reading Harry Potter for the very first time and I know shock and horror <laughs> when I posted about my goal of reading the whole Harry Potter series for the first time in 2021 on Instagram I had more messages than I've ever received from people like oh my god I can't believe it like you're gonna love it but I can't believe it <laughs> and it is quite shocking because I am beyond obsessed with the movies we have like a million Lego sets of them I love Harry Potter world in Universal Studios but I never read the books and I listened to the audiobooks which I highly recommend they are phenomenal but I really wanted to read the books and what better time than now? So um, I have only been reading like one chapter a night because it's so good. <laughs> it is so good and I really want to savor it and I've been having fun also like reenacting it to my sister because she never read them either and she loves the movies as well so I'm like oh my god in the book this happens and this happens and this happens and um yeah so I'm only a few chapters in but I have to show you guys this really funny thing because um my mom has the whole series she always got them right when they came out I'm pretty sure she got the first one like right when it came out as well and um so she has the whole series so I'm just borrowing it from her and in the front of the book I have to show you something pretty cute so there's an inscription in here from me and it says mommy here is a little payback for your other book. I love you, love Megan, Christmas 2003. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck does that mean? And I like showed my mom and stuff and we were laughing. And the only thing that we can think of is like, maybe I accidentally like messed up the original copy that she got because she said she always would buy like the paperback and this is like a hardcover version so I just thought that was hilarious and then also in it was a card that I gave her like with it um and so I'm using it as the bookmark so I'm only what on chapter three um but chapter one was amazing and it was just like incredible like I just want to reread this chapter over and over and over again but um I can't wait to keep reading it and if you have also never read Harry Potter but you've wanted to I think now is the perfect time and I am just super excited so I'll keep you guys posted morning you guys it's Saturday morning I have been up since 7 30 it's 10 o'clock now and I'm heading to my eye doctor appointment to decide on the contacts so I am gonna 
get those squared away today, which I'm so excited about. And my eyes haven't been bothering me this week while trying the different contacts that they gave me. So I'm very thankful about that. Can't wait to be able to wear contacts normally like I used to but yeah I am wearing my current favorite lavender jacket shirt jacket trend and it's so soft and this is from H&M so I'll link it down below um and I wore my eyeshadow is the Tom Ford pretty baby palette I just thought it was so like pretty and kind of went with the color scheme and I'm not wearing any lipstick right now because I'm gonna have to put on my mask but um, yeah just wanted to say hey before I go into my appointment wow this lighting is horrible but I'm in the Ulta like pickup spot because I placed two orders on their app yesterday and today for the 21 days of beauty deals I just think that it's like the most <laughs> like easiest way to get those deals is to order it for in-store pickup because then you, I've been doing it before the store even opens, so you're like basically guaranteed the products you want. So that is a little tip for if you're trying to snag the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty deals and you have a like local Ulta. I've been lucky, everything I've wanted has been in stock in my store. There Thanks you go. so have much. A good one. I actually have two yeah. orders. Is it both oh, in two? here? Yeah. Let me double check. We normally separate them, so I'll okay. be right back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even check in for both. Oh, well, this at least is the one from today. Yay. Um, but I had the best appointment at the eye doctor. The guy that was helping me was insanely nice. Like, he basically was like, it will be way cheaper if you order these online. And so he printed out my prescriptions for me. And because I was trying two different types. And I like the more expensive ones, of course. Um, but he was like, well, let's get like something out of the insurance, you know? So we were able to order six months, which was almost fully covered by insurance. And then there was just like a little bit I had to pay and I just used my HSA. So that was amazing. So I can just order the rest online for like a better deal. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry boy, about no that. <laughs> Thanks. Let me show you what I got because I'm pretty excited about it. So this, oh, I had to get the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone because this one I used up last year. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And then it's the um, like kind of champagne colored one and it's just perfect for fair skin and I'm devastated that Becca is closing in September, like they're going out of business. And honestly, I'm glad they told us because if like it became close to then and they were just like, we're going out of business, like, I mean, there'd be panic and there already is panic, but at least we can like prepare and I, like wasn't gonna buy Moonstone for like to repurchase it, but for sentimental reasons, like this was my first highlighter. Like Becca, basically I feel like invented highlighters or at least made them more mainstream and Moonstone was always my favorite. So I'm so glad I have that now. And then the stuff that I ordered today, I'm so excited about, I ordered, um, two shades of the new ultra creamy shape tape i didn't know what shade i would be and these almost look identical i think the undertone is slightly different so i ordered um 16 and fair light neutral and then uh 12 20 b light so i don't know what b stands for in terms of like undertone but they almost look the same so i'm gonna uh try those and then I got, these were half off. These are the Invisibobble Elegant Hair Ring. So they're just like really, really small, which I thought would be nice for updos. And then I got two new pairs of Impress Nails, which I haven't had in a long time, but they came out with OPI colors with Impress. So I got Bubble Bath, which is my favorite. And then this isn't an OPI color, but it's really pretty. It's called Point Pink. And it's like similar but lighter than bubble bath so 
I might put on a pair of these today. I'm not sure because um, I need to repaint my nails, but this lighting is horrible. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, and I'm done with all my errands that I had to do and it's only 1046. Yay! <laughs> I repainted my nails with a gorgeous nudie pink combo. I did the OPI Nail Envy in Bubble Bath, two coats of that, and then one coat of the Hollow Taco Menchie the Cat glitter, and it is gorgeous because it has those little hollow flecks in it, and it's just such a pretty, like, light, cool tone pink combination. I love it! This week we made a new invention, Rice Krispie Treats with Lucky Charms marshmallows. So I bought Lucky Charms cereal and me and Rachel picked out <laughs> a bunch of marshmallows and then my mom made the Rice Krispie Treats and then when they were still warm, we pressed like the um, marshmallows on top and they are amazing they are truly magically delicious and this is like my new favorite way to have rice krispies and i heat them up in the microwave for 10 seconds before before eating them and it makes it even better me and mom are taking a walk yay spring yay is it officially spring it is yeah. oh my god finally <laughs> and it's like kind of a crisp breeze but it's like super nice yeah, super oh, i love it Sky. Gosh, yeah, wow, no, no, wow, not a cloud in sight. This afternoon I took a little nap, it was glorious, and I just touched up my makeup because I could, and I really enjoy doing that, so I was playing around with some new stuff that I'm like testing out, and in a recent um, Nordstrom order, I got these like Chanel perfume samples, like little kind of postcards with like a Peely on the back, and the two I love, and I've immediately added them to my like wish list at Sephora and Ulta are Coco Mademoiselle, which I've wanted to try for so long, but I like didn't really get into it until quarantine and I haven't been anywhere really to like test it. Oh my gosh, it is glorious. It says, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum is a spirited floral fragrance featuring bold notes of patchouli and vetiver illuminated by a jasmine and may rose accord. I see why this is so popular. It is gorgeous. So gorgeous. And like, I applied it a little bit ago, so... I don't think it's fully dried down, but like it's not really heavy because I was worried about the patchouli, but it is gorgeous, really gorgeous. And then the other one that really surprised me is Gabrielle Chanel Essence. So there's a Gabrielle like original and then the Gabrielle Essence. So I've never tried the original Gabrielle. But it says, Gabrielle Chanel Essence Eau de Parfum is an intense floral fragrance faceted with jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and the most captivating flower of all, Gras Tuberose. Oh my god, this is so bright. Like, very, very floral in, like, the brightest, happiest way ever. Like, this one is very spring to me. And it's like a lot more floral than I feel like I typically go for. So I don't know if I would necessarily buy it. But it is gorgeous. Truly gorgeous. Um, I think I'll buy Coco Mademoiselle eventually. I think Chanel is usually always excluded from like the Sephora sale and the Ulta coupons and stuff. So... I'll just have to pay up one day when I decide to get it. Maybe as a little treat yourself if I like achieve something or want to splash out on something. But yeah, I wanted to mention those. And I put up my hair with one of those little Invisibobbles. And so far so good. It's like holding the smaller portion of my hair 
really, really nicely. So um, we're picking up dinner tonight and bringing it home and I have a Target pickup order that I think I'm just gonna run out and get now um, just to kind of not have anything else to do tonight. I'm kind of in the mood to watch Harry Potter <laughs> because I've been reading the first book and I love it, you guys. Everyone is right, the books are so much better. <laughs> and I'm only like, I think five chapters in. I read some more this afternoon before my nap and it's just amazing. Like if you love Harry Potter, you have to read the books and oh, now I understand. <laughs> We just wrapped up dinner. We got Red Lobster takeout and it was amazing. They have like family feasts that really are a feast. So if you love Red Lobster, check out their to-go stuff. And now we're gonna watch Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which I'm so extra excited about because I feel like we haven't watched it in a long time. So it's kind of be like watching it for the first time. <laughs> right, Rach? Mm -hmm. Morning you guys, it's Sunday morning and I just made my coffee and look at how it perfectly layered. I've been using half and half in my milk frother and it makes like the perfect foam. Oh my gosh, so can't wait to drink this this morning. I got all dressed in like a springy ish outfit because yesterday was still a little chilly so I was like, oh perfect, I can wear my long sleeve like button up and it's actually pretty warm because it's not cotton so it's like not really breathable but um i went outside to take outfit pictures i was sweating it is so warm out there and i'm not complaining <laughs> but i am obviously going to change out of this into like just a short sleeve shirt um because i would love to take a walk while it is just like stunning outside and I feel like whenever it's really nice weather it's always the work week and we can't like fully enjoy it so I definitely want to get out today and get some sunshine and stuff but I filmed a video I have to run a few errands like do some returns so I might do that today but I don't even know what time it is I think I should eat lunch oh yeah it's 1 10 the day is just flying by, but um, yesterday was such a perfect relaxing day, so I feel like today I kind of need to do a few things. Um, but yeah, so I'm just having a nice spring day. Rach and I have been uber productive today. We took a walk. We went to Ulta to return the one concealer. I returned the darker shade. And then we tried some perfumes and I ordered one online. And then we cleaned in the basement for about an hour and we have like the whole back seat full of donations. So now we're going to Goodwill to get rid of it. <laughs> We pretty much donated everything we found, but I found this little Hello Kitty like card holder wallet thing. So it just has like two little slots. And then I don't get what this is. Like it doesn't have a slot or anything like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. And then this, this was from my Esmeralda costume from Hunchback of Notre Dame. So it has like on each of the little coins like Quasimodo, Esmeralda. Um, there's just like a bunch of different like icons on the coins. So it's so cute. It would go like at your waist and I don't know, I think I might have to save it in my memory box because I loved dressing up as Esmeralda. So those were the two things that I found today that I'm going to keep for my memories. So dad just did a Moscato taste test for us. It was a blind taste test. He wouldn't let us look. So we tried Yellowtail, which we had last night. So we just had like the rest of the bottle. Sutter Home Moscato and Barefoot Moscato. And by far the winner was Barefoot. It was very sweet, but smooth. Then I would say the Yellowtail was the next sweetest, but had a little, a little too much like, 
acid taste or something to me. And then our least favorite was the Sutter Home because it was the most dry. But I feel like if you were having it with like a dinner or I don't know, like a certain occasion, this would be better. But our favorite one is definitely the Barefoot. So. Yes. You also said like the yellowtail is almost too sweet to you and yeah. the dry was good in comparison. Yeah. So. I had this one first and I was just like, Ugh. like I had to force it down basically. <laughs> and then this one, since it was drier, tasted really nice. But then my favorite one was the barefoot. So there you have it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. I had a really awesome weekend, very relaxing but productive, and I'm going to like wrap up the weekend by watching Good Girls on Hulu. The season four, like two episodes, I think, have come out so far, and I haven't been keeping up with it, so I need to catch up, and I just love that show so much, and I think this is the final season, so seasons one through three is on Netflix and so now the fourth season is live and then on Hulu the next day. So I'm going to catch up on that and just have a nice chill night in and I hope you guys are all doing really well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!